I guess action scene number no cut number shot number five. Hi guys, my name is Ferran, and uh, I've just recently been uh, um, taken up. I've taken up an offer to go see um, a personality psychologist, and uh, um, I have found out uh, more about the personality types according to the Myers-Briggs per 16 personality types that I am an ENFP. So ENFPs are really awesome people, um, just like yourself and me, or whoever has some attributes of ENFPs. So it has four functions in it. The primary function being extroversion, which comes naturally to us. We want to feed off um, being extroverted, like talking to a lot of people, and then uh, finding out about, uh, about their personal stories or what their hobbies are. And uh, that really interests and it inspires us. The more people we get to know, the better we feel about ourselves. And then institution is something within ourselves. We have this uh, gift of connecting the dots. Um, if I've read something in a mathematical logic book, I would connect that dot in like poetry writing. I would mention it, mention it somehow. Or if I read something um, in, in, in a comic book, I would, or seeing something on a science fiction movie, I would uh, connect that back into maybe marketing or accounting or something, you know? So, institution, we have a lot of instincts, we want to feel connected to the world and we want to get, um, we want to see the whole picture, right? We don't want to be just uh, people that are kind of know what's going on, but don't, can't see the whole picture. So that kind of comes into the third function, which is a weakness that um, we need to work on is feeling. So feeling could, could go, uh, we, we feel a lot of things. We want to feel that emotional connection. We want to have good friendship. We want to have good relationships. We want to um, We want to feel happy. We want to feel, if you feel sad, then we go eat a lot of ice cream. We go um, on sugary diets. Um, we get a lot of cravings. So. That's, that's a weakness, right? It's, it's like a personal feeling like the whatever you're feeling or um, whoever you met, if they had said something negative to you, then you would be really sensitive the whole day, thinking about it, processing it, and then you might have to just meditate to come out of it, right? So, really sensitive at times. But remember, it's a weakness, and weakness means it's a challenge, so you can work on it to improve it. What I, what I have trying to do myself uh, what helps with that emotional um, sensitivity is that um, you can observe your thoughts as an outsider and then see, let them pass by, let them pass by, let them pass by, and then tell yourself that this happened and I'm feeling good about it, I'm feeling glad it happened, I'm feeling positive it happened, or I'm feeling upset it happened, um, but you're observing that process, you're not... Um, physically taking in and then just napping because you're upset because you don't want to talk to anyone, right? That's kind of childish. So I've seen a lot of ENFP kids uh, that have West major m variety of mood swings. Um, if, if they don't get, if somebody says no to like giving them that toy or they can't eat an apple for the second apple and then they would just isolate themselves and then sit on a chair and then until somebody talks to them and tells them, you know, that's like, why are you so upset? And I have a nephew who, who does that, right? But I mean, I understand like, you know, that what's going on. So anyways, moving on to the fourth, third, fourth tier function, uh, which is perception. So perception, um, I think it's perception, like I said, it, it ties back into having the bigger picture. So. You want to have a perception on every single thing. Like you, you just don't want to be um, good at one thing. You are actually an idea generator. You get ideas. You get ideas, and you want to generate them. And you feel really high energy when you get an idea and you start the initial idea and you document it. But where 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 we fall short is falling through with the ideas. Um, falling through with the ideas could be challenging because it puts you in a 
in, in like doing routine work, right? Like you're doing the same thing, same thing, same thing until you execute uh, a certain goal or plan and then you come to the end result. So execution um, and doing the same thing over and over again is kind of like a challenge for us because um, we want to have a life uh, where we could do one thing and then we can do the, uh, another project on the next day and we could kind of like just assimilate information from the world, from people around us um, by being connected and feeling uh, connected to um, uh, on a personal level and finding out more about the person's uh, interests, hobbies, what they like to do. Um, that really inspires us, right? But what I have, uh, uh, what helped me of paying attention to details um, is uh, by working in small, if you have a big goal and it requires a lot of detail work, um, you can set a goal, a mini, mini goal, saying that out of that big chunk of um, process that I need to get done, I'm going to pick just one, one task. And it, out of that one task, I'm going to do 10 different activities um, to achieve them. And then that kind of like takes away our overwhelmness of, uh, of uh, getting the whole thing done in one one day, but don't get me wrong, I mean, you know your limit, right? There's been days where I was like, okay, I was so motivated that I was like, I'm gonna get this done in as soon as possible so I don't have to deal with it. So for example, uh, I was taking an online course and uh, that course in a semester is like four months long, right? And then I was like, you know what? I don't have four months. Um, I'm just gonna take it and I'm just gonna, I finish in less than seven hours and my average was above 80 in every assignment and test that I took online. So, yeah, like, I mean, you know, another problem I've seen is that um, there, is this, uh, there is a research about people with ADHD and ENFPs are um, mistaken for people with ADHD and I don't, I'm not using ADHD as a negative uh, term because I love ADHD. I'm a big fan of ADHD because it can help me work on different things at one time. I have different ideas, different projects, different things that I want to do, different interests, different hobbies. So, um, like the focus is just not one narrow stream. It's just that um, a lot of connectivity and a lot of um, putting the dots here on paper, mapping it out, and then sketching out like the big picture. So, um, that's an ENFP. I, came to a resource where I was offered to just take a free personality assessment and I ordered the survival guide of ENFPs and um, I read that book in like less than two days my fastest uh, book read so far and you know it's, um, I'm not saying that there aren't flaws in the research or it isn't getting adaptive and getting improved but some of the stuff has been done by psychologists over um, by monitoring behavior of people in that category or that wired, wiredness of the brain, right? So uh, take it as a learning curve that you can take what good can come out of it and you can apply it to your daily um, personality, natural strengths or weakness, whatever you want to work on, right? And yeah, that was my story about how finding out about how I have an ENFP. Um, first, I took the test in high school and in high school I was uh, really uh, skeptical about it. I was like, it's a whole bunch of bull crap. But today I would say that it's not a whole bunch of bull crap. It, it has some valid evidence that um, those things are noticeable in people that, 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 that know who they are, right? So uh, one day, when I was reading a book, it was like somebody telling me like, my life story, like what I do and what I'm good at, what I could do better, what I need to improve. So it was really fascinating and I'm a junkie for Mars Briggs personality test and I hope to see you in my next next video vlog. Have a good one. Au revoir, amigos, amigos. Cut.